We begin with water woes. There's a plan to put water back in the Arkansas River, but it's not cheap. It'll cost $41 million to repair the zinc dam in Midtown Tulsa and another $30 million to add a dam to South Tulsa. New tonight, 2 News reporter Brandon Richard explains getting the money for it all depends on you. To Parker Williams, art is all about expression. If I've got an idea, it's going to go on there and it's going on there quick. He finds he's able to express himself best when he sets up his art studio along the Arkansas River. I appreciate the nature and the sun that we have out here. And the river is a great place to connect with everyone. He says if there's one element the river could use a tad more of, it's water. The more water, the better. The problem is made worse by leaky floodgates here at Zinc Dam. The more water that escapes through them, the lower the river gets. Fixing them is the solution. But it won't come cheap. The city council agreed to set aside money for repairs. That includes constructing new gates, which would raise the water level by three feet. All that comes in at 41 million. Kirby Crow is director of the current Vision 2025 program and has already crunched the numbers for Vision 2. We believe now's the time to do it. We're very well along in the permitting process. The plan also includes putting an additional 30 million towards a low water dam in South Tulsa. That will mean um, a lot of economic potential benefit for that area of, of the county, both sides of the river. Construction on the Zeke Dam could begin in a year, while work on the South Tulsa Dam wouldn't begin until 2017. Parker can already imagine what an improved river would look like. It's just way more pretty, like with the lights, the sun, I mean, like with what water reflecting off of it, it's going to give a much better vibe. You're going to bring a lot more to Tulsa. But of course, it all depends on what voters decide about Vision 2 in November. Reporting in Tulsa, Brandon Richard, 2 News works for you. If passed, Vision 2 would extend a current Tulsa County sales tax until 2029. Another $20 million would go to upgrades at the Tulsa Zoo.